on, Pokemon fans. Got another Pokemon trading card game online video for you today. In today's video, I'm excited because we are going to do our first event on this channel. We have the tickets for it. If you don't know what an event is, an event is uh, like a tournament. And pretty much if you win, you can get different rewards. First place gets you six unified minds packs plus 400 coins. Second place gets you four packs plus 200 coins. Third and fourth gets you two packs plus 100 coins, and then fifth through eight is 50 trainer tokens and an uncommon chest. We don't want to see fifth through eight, though. We want to get first. We want to get as many booster packs as we can and open them on this video as well. So without further ado, as soon as we get our eighth person loaded in, there they are. We'll get this tournament started. Had a relatively quick um, start to this tournament. I did wait until the most of the lobby was full before I started like to actually go into the recording. But we're going to go ahead and try to start strong. We got the coin flip. We're going to go first. We're going to take our burn deck and we're going to try to beat the whole tournament with our burn deck. Now it looks like we are going to have to start out with a Celestial GX. It's the only basic Pokemon that we have. And let's see what... This gentleman right here is going to end up playing against our Celestial GX. We did pull a Charizard Reshiram GX. We'll go ahead and put it down. I'm going to put the Fighting Fury belt and play Koga's Trap on the first turn. Put a Fire Energy on our Celestial GX and end our turn because we can't attack on the first turn. He's got that lit out there. It's only got 60 damage left. If um, I could pull a double colorless on the next move, that would be amazing. I mean, that would be, that would be a great start. Just going to use that welder. Just going to go ahead and get that ho oh built up. Think can do 180 damage, and then it can do 50. Okay, let's see. Let's get the Linton going. Is he going to try to attack? Let's hope he tries to attack and get the tails. Yes. Even better. 50. So now he's only got 20 HP left. Let's go ahead and use one of these Professor Kukwais. Did not get what we needed. Put a Charmander out there. We'll go ahead and put another energy on Celestela. And let's go ahead and use that Discovery ZX. I was hoping we would have got like a double color colorless there, but it's okay that we didn't. We got another Charmander to put down. Rare candy would have been nice even to pull. It's going to go ahead and evolve that Litten into a Torcat. Now it's only got 30 damage left still, so I don't understand his reason behind that other than to hit me, which looks like it barely worked out for him. Alrighty, we're definitely going to attach that energy there. We're going to put a Lucky Helmet on the Reshiram and Charizard. And let's go ahead and use Pokemon Center Lady. Hit us for 20 HP. Hit him with that Power Cyclone. Transfer Fire Energy over to Reshiram and Charizard GX. There's that double color list that we needed a long time ago. I don't think he can kill me right here. Like, I don't think he can knock me out. Yeah, he can Oh, he's going to switch over to my Reshiram and Charizard. Okay. Okay, I understand your reasoning there, but let's see what your reasoning behind this is. We'll hit you for 30. Pokemon Center Lady, of course. Of course, of course. Is he going to take Sacred Fire again? On to my Celestial? He sure is. Okay, that's mighty fine that you keep going that, buddy. Mighty fine that you keep doing that because you just pretty much gave me the victory right there. Oh, I've already used it. I can't use it again. That's crazy. But what we can do is 
hit you for 50 and now you got 140 left Right, let's see what decision he decides to make this time. Sacred Fire again on that Celestella. He's just going to keep trying to knock me out that way. Don't really understand his reasoning there. But it's what he decided to do. As you can see, this game is over. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the 230. Knock out his Ho-Oh. And that's how you win a tournament match on the Pokemon trading card game online. Picked up the victory there. Um, really wasn't much to it with this burn deck. Once the cards start falling in place with this burn deck, it's really hard to lose. Got 25 additional coins added to our prize of uh, the rewards I was showing you earlier. We were the first one to finish up, so we will have to wait on those other three. Um, I probably will edit a lot of this wait time in between this part out just for the video sake of how long, um, this overall video is going to be if we make it all the way to the finals and actually win the tournament. Okay, it looks like uh, we did have a winner eventually of that match. Sorry it took so long for that. Like I said, I'll edit a lot of that out. We got the next match starting. They have the advantage. Well, let's hope that we can change that. We pick tails because tails always fails. It's okay. I'm glad we went second because we have a Volcanion with Flare Starter. Sorry, I know that little singing thing was it was horrible. I get a little bit too excited sometimes. Pseudo Wudo. Only four bench Pokemon. Well, that's unfortunate for us. But we'll do what it says. He put us to sleep as well. That's not a good start for us if we don't wake back up. We really need to wake back up. This tournament might get a little scary if we do not wake back up. Still waiting on the energy to get attached. Pretty sure we can still only have four Pokemon while it's on the bench as well. We woke back up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Koga's Trap. We'll take advantage of the three energy, not one energy. One, two, three. Spread the love. Let's see what he decides to do now. Probably turn that Zeru into a Zora. That would be my guess. Using the rescue stretcher. Get that Zorark GX out. I knew it. You guys heard it. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. He does have that trade ability, which he's using right now.
put another Zorark out there. I'll give it to him. He's got a good deck. And since he does, we will give him the you have a good deck button. We don't use those buttons very often. But if they deserve it, we use them. See that 160 damage there. That just took me quite a little turn. It definitely canceled out what we wanted to do with this whole entire video. But it's okay. It's all okay. Nobody's upset. Okay, maybe just a little upset. But we're not going to take just the defeat like that. It doesn't work that way. They still have to earn it. Guess we still make them earn their win when it's an event. You guys know me. If we pull a Charizard out of our deck, I always feel like we still have a fighting chance. He's using all abilities to his advantage. I'll give him that. And this was, this is what makes events so fun. You can go from like that first match where I just decimated that dude to the second match to where I'm getting dominated here. It's all the luck of who you play against. I mean, when you bring it down to the gist of it, that's pretty much what it comes down to. He's doing mega damage each attack. Like each attack he's doing mega damage. Yes, we will use the pull-up ability. Give me back my Volcanions. Thank you. That's an energy to Celestial, an energy to Charmander. Okay, let's see what he does. It's not going to be good. That's okay. Still get those packs, and we're going to open them in this video. How many propaganda can you have? What would be really nice is if I make him run out of cards first in his deck. I could do that and actually still sneak away with the win. So I have to at least knock four more of my Pokemon out. So that's four more cards he's going to have to pull already.
I like what he did there. That's how he's going to prevent running out of cards. I like what you did there, buddy. Um, sure. Trying what we can. My main concern is can he do the old switch out again on me? If he does that to me again, then I'm hurting. Did not expect that. Man, I really wanted that Charizard right there. Didn't get it. Did not get it. We tried. And that's how they end our tournament. Good luck to him going forward with his tournament. He had a really good deck. Um, he had he had good pulls at the right time. At least we get one of those event tickets back. I'm not upset about that at all. Just because we did get packs from this tournament. They are the new Unified Minds packs. So you can't go wrong there. It'll be as soon as they finish. Once they finish, I will come back to the video just to let you guys know that, hey, they did actually give us the packs to open. So give me just a few minutes for them to get their tournament going. Once they get done with their final battle, we'll go and open those packs up. Okay, guys, that match is still finishing up. So what I've decided that I'm going to do is we're going to actually play a regular versus match and contribute towards the 600 coins while we're waiting on that match to finish uh, for that tournament. So we can redeem our packs. I do want to open the packs on this channel. Um, I did cut a lot of the wait time out in editing. But I wanted to go ahead and put a match. Um, you know during this process as well. Just to take up some advantage of some of the space that's in the video. And that way I don't have to shorten the whole entire thing. We're going to call heads. Tails didn't work out for us last time. Of course it would have if we would have used it this time. That's the way it always goes. They're going first. Let's hope we get that Volcanion. We did not get anything but energies. That was the most brilliant thing I've ever... I'm kidding. That was horrible. What kind of luck do you have to have to pull all energies? First time I've ever done that. That's a funny start. Still didn't get the Volcanion. Took a mulligan for it. I kind of needed those double colorless energies for Celestial, to be honest with you. It's all good, though. There's the prize cards. Something tells me we're going to be using those prize cards pretty early. What a beautiful card. Got that ace spec on it. Lovely Mew car too. A Marini. Discovery GX. Got the Charmander and the Rare Candy. All we need is the Charizard. Not a bad start. Got that double colorless that we needed to knock out either his Mew or his Marini, whatever he puts out. He 
He's not attached to any energies to this one. And he just evolved his Marini into a Togepex GX. Let's put out the Turtonator GX, the Charmander, double colorless can go there. Pokemon fan club just to pull that Reshiram and now let's not do another Celestial. Let's do Dragonite. We're only going to put the Reshiram and Charizard GX out. And let's go ahead and attack. There goes Mew. See you later, Mew. Fire energy on the Reshiram and Charizard. Or Corio. It's a nice card, actually. He's going to go ahead and hit me for that Total Shredder GX, but it doesn't work against Celestial. A good try, buddy. Hit him with another Kogus Trap. He's probably going to concede any minute now. We'll see if he decides not to, but I'm pretty sure he will. Oh, I can't hit him either. Isn't that lovely? Oh, they're on the next turn only. Thank goodness. There's the victory. Let's see what we get in our gift box. Twenty-five more coins out of twenty-seven total for that match. It was a good uh, little match to have to get us. You see that we got the notification up in the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what we got for the tournament. The two packs right there. Plus we can now purchase another pack. Let's go ahead and do that first. And then we will go check those two packs out. Might as well keep them all three with unified minds just to make the opening easier. There's the two packs that we got for the tournament. They are tradable. There's the one that we purchased with the coins. It is not tradable. We're going to open all three. We're not going to trade any of them. Just to give you guys some pack openings on this channel as well uh, with the game. We'll also do some code cards and let you see how those work. And we'll also give away some code cards in the future. We've got a Fire Energy, a Gibble, Stunfisk, Finneon, Axew, Snover, Dragonair, Tartuga, Giant Hearth. For the Reverse Holographic, it's a Uncommon Giant Bomb. And for the Rare, it's going to be an Amoongus, Non-Holographic Rare Card. So there's pack number one. Let's go right into pack number two. Psychic Energy, Drifloon, Shroomish, Dredagon, Cubone, Tynamo, Misty's Favor, Basculin, Dragonair, for the reverse rare holographic it's going to be an Amoongus, which we previously just pulled. And for the rare, it's just a little scrafty, um, non-holographic rare. That's a bummer. I was really hoping we could pull a good pull on one of these three packs. To be honest with you, that's why I bought a third pack. The pulls are a little bit harder to do on Unified Minds, in my opinion. Fighting Energy, Lickitung, with what's perhaps probably the longest tongue in any Pokemon card. Gibble, Stunfisk again, Finneon again, Axew again, Sableye, Swadaloon, Flaninium Z, Air Slash, Wimpod, and for the rare, another Scrafty. So that's going to be the three packs. That's all I've got for you for this video. On the next video, we're going to do some more gameplay action to try to get up to 600 coins. We need uh, roughly 50 more energy from playing versus. We're going to try to accomplish that in the next video. So we can start working on this five pack breakthrough. Once we get those five packs of breakthrough, we're going to open up all five of those packs on this channel. Stay tuned for that and for future content with the Pokemon trading card game online. I do want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next video.